going on guys today in this video uh, i'm going to be i've got some sort punty rods pretty sure they're either three or five mil i can't remember i think they're five mil the ones i'm working on now so i got you know i was working on you know working with them uh wrapping marbles or whatever and they got too short so i just set them off to the side so it doesn't take a lot of heat with this little small flame and you literally just get them both hot and put them together and then you want them to that's pretty much a cold weld you want to make it a hot weld make sure they it's a strong you know form them together after they cool down i'll clean them before i use them again they're a little they got fingerprints and stuff all over them i just got off work third shift here's another one the same size one on my left hand one with the ring on it um you see how that orange right kind of right there like lights up in that one spot it's because i've already done this before and i've used it down to that point again melt down again um this is how you save glass I'll, uh, i'm sure like some people that just have so much glass they just end up like throwing stuff like that away, but I don't see a sense in that. I use every bit of it that I can to keep it going. And uh, I realized that I forgot to put my didymium lens over my camera, so that way you can see more of what I'm seeing. Oh, it's dirty. Wipe it off. Make it cleaner in a little bit. Clearer picture. Now, someone commented on one of my videos saying that. Um, It'd be better maybe if I did like a POV point of view type of uh, thing, video, but I don't have a GoPro that I can put on my chest or my, my forehead or, or something like that. I'm trying to figure out a way to do it. I really, uh, maybe I can build some type of stand and then like put my phone on it behind me or something. I'm trying to think of something to do. Let's click. That rod right there was a little lopsided so i was just straightening it up melt it down to get rid of that point you don't really want points the glass to go to a point with something like this whenever you're doing these here's the last one of this size rod and then i go to I think i'm pretty sure these are five mil i go down to three mil because i had a few of those to put together now the three mil I use for my glass filters that you get put into your tobacco pipes or your uh, tobacco bongs. That one right there, that size probably lasts me maybe about a marble worth. I'm trying to pick up this thing. It's not one. <laughs> there we go. So these are three mil. You can see they're a little bit smaller. These are the ones I use for my glass filters. Um, the five mil it just ends up being a little bit too big, maybe unless you have a really big ball head. But generally, I use these for those. Switch my stance. It doesn't take much with that. I mean, that small of a rod. I had another one, and I was thinking about putting it on there, but. It would be, I think it'd be too long. But, uh, what else was I going to do? Oh, it's just, I dropped this like before I made this video. And, um, this is that, uh, off white. Or it's not off white. It's like a, it's a very, very light tannish brown. It looks clear, but it's not. If you were to compare it to a clear rod. But I turn off the heat because it's, a. Uh, I think a 15 or 12 mil rod. I need to know the names or the measurements of all these rods that I'm using. But really, when I order rods and stuff, like clear rods and stuff, I just, for mountain glass, I order like sample packs and they give you like, you know, six <coughs> three mil rods, six of the five mil rods, like four of the, this size. And then, um, you know, then I get like the tubes, the, you know, the smaller tubes, it has like three mil walls. 
and the total diameter I think is like maybe 10. And then they give you, they give me really big ones. It's like five mil walls. And then the whole diameter of that thing is like 50 millimeters, so huge. And uh, with my torch, I mean, I can work with it. It just takes a while. You know, I can make blanks and stuff to make uh, uh, tobacco pipe or something. But, you know, I really don't use that kind of stuff. The size rod you see me holding is really what I use the most. But that one's done. And I'm going to kind of upload this one. I'm going to probably make at least a few more today. And I'll probably do some over the weekend. Yep, thanks guys.